Oh, is this great or what? What? <laughs> oh, this. Yeah, this is great. But I've been waiting for some of that. <laughs> but that's just it. This is great, even without that. It is? <laughs> of course it is. Well, not that that isn't great, but this just works so well because we're already such good friends. It's true. There's nothing like a good friend. Now, enough of that. How about some of this? <laughs> you know, we don't have to make out. We could just hang out like we used to. Because on top of being boyfriend and girlfriend... We're also good friends. Yeah, see how lucky we are. <laughs> I always thought getting lucky meant something else. <laughs> so, what should we do, friend? Well, how about some of this? Now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Sometimes in the slide, you can feel all by yourself. Check, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. I'll be there. Is Dustin. See? Oh my god, Dr. Phil is white! <laughs> Can I get a little help? You know how upset Natalie is with me? And she's on the way over here and I want everything to be perfect. Daddy, you can't commit. I come from a broken home. It ain't never gonna be perfect. <laughs> yeah, well, you're forgetting I have the secret weapon. Behold, peg out. Brianna, put the engagement ring back in the box. <laughs> I'm just so excited. So, are you proposing tonight? Nope. On Saturday night, yes. After a romantic dinner, there'll be flowers, violins, and when I drop to one knee, a choir will magically appear out of the crowd singing the glory. That is us. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hey, Mommy, how's everything in Africa? Oh, you're going on safari? Oh, th that's Natalie. All right, beat it. And if anyone shoots your mother, tell them I'm gonna put a head over the fireplace. Wait, Daddy, we don't have a fireplace. Well, get me a head and I'll build one. So, I'm coming. <laughs> hey, baby, you look good. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what do you want? You. You're the most important thing in my life. And I just want to tell you. Felix, I need to talk to you right away. Not now, Dwayne. I'm talking to Natalie. Oh, that, that's okay, y'all. Two just go on with y'all lives. <laughs> uh, what I was gonna say was that I was wrong, and, and what's minute, mine Flex. is you... Dwayne left your apartment after only being told once. Oh, my God. He's dying. <laughs> that fool owed me $50. <laughs> Dwayne, are you okay? Flex, <laughs> Man, I went to the doctor today. I don't know how to tell you this, but, but I have. What is it? High cholesterol. <laughs> Let's cut out all the cheese. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back in there to the woman I love. Flex, I can't cut the cheese. <laughs> the doctor says it's genetic. He says I should find my father to see if there's any history of heart disease in my family. Well, I think that's a great idea. You might want to start looking in the short and husky department at Sears. See ya. No, Flex, man, look, this is serious. The prospect of finding my dad has always scared me. But now I have to. I need to know him, Flex. All right, you're right, man. I'm sorry. Now, what has your mom told you about her? My mom? Oh, that's a great idea. I mean, she probably knows who he is, right? <laughs> what other words of wisdom do you have for me, old wise one? Making me drive all the way over here. Selfish from beginning to end. Bottom line is, you just can't commit, can you, Flex? <laughs> Oh my God, it's beautiful. It's perfect. I'm getting married. I'm getting married. Before my sister. Before my sister. I forgive you, Flex. I forgive you for everything. Well, I was 
really gone for five minutes. What would you have done if I was gone for ten? Why don't you go back out and see? Oh, okay. <laughs> You're welcome, boo. Thanks for carrying my books, bit. Oh, these are mine. I left your books back in biology. Oh, man! <laughs> What's so funny? These are his books. <laughs> oh, don't turn around. There's Josh. Oh, I just feel so bad. I broke his heart. I should go over there and see if he's okay. Look at him. He's hot and blonde. Girl, he'll get over it. Hey, Josh, how's it going? What do you want? I want us to be friends. Please. You ripped my heart out and tossed it on the sidewalk. Don't you mean kicked it to the curb? Whatever. I'm sure there's a dog and a homeless guy fighting over it right now. Well, if you change your mind, let me know. hurts, doesn't it? Yeah. What about you? Doesn't it hurt seeing her with Arnaz? Mm, that's his loss. <laughs> She'll never love him the way I do. Not with all those <laughs> morals. <laughs> but it's not too late for you. What are you talking about? You know better than anyone else. Brianna doesn't know what she wants. You should be her friend again. Because you never know. Yeah, that's exactly what Arnez did. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm trying to say, boo. <laughs> but you know what they say. Break up to make up. Uh, I'm way ahead of you. So what do I do next? Just you leave it up to me. Ginger's gonna take care of it. Yo te quiero, nene, pero esa fresa está podrida. Oh, that's sexy. <laughs> What'd you say? I love you, baby, but that strawberry's rotten. <laughs> oh, really? Well, uh, how about this one? <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh, got it. <laughs> mm, we should do this when strawberries are in season. Mm -mm. Nope. We'll eat them and we'll like them. I skip school for this. I don't skip school for just anyone. And I don't fall in love with just anyone. Oh. <laughs> really? What do you love about me? Well, let's see. I love the way your nose crinkles up when you smile. I love how when I've had a hard day, you rub my back. And I think it's so cute how your feet blow up when you eat too much salt. <laughs> That's not cute. <laughs> no, it's not cute, but it's love. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you want to ask me? Oh, yeah, yeah. Will you have dinner with me tomorrow night? Yes, yes, of course, yes. <laughs> okay, I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> oh, dinner. Oh. Dinner. <laughs> right. <laughs> I love dinner. Mm. Well, Brianna won't be home for another three hours, so uh, we can skip right to dessert. <laughs> you have some soap on your nose. Oh, um, can you get it for me? Yeah, sure. Oh, wait, my hands are wet, too. Come here. Okay, you guys better cut it out. I mean, your dad's gonna be home any minute, and he's gonna suspect something when he sees me throwing up all over the place. <laughs> What's going on? Hey, Daddy. You two been fooling around, and you been watching. No, sir, I have way too much respect for you and your daughter than to ever do something like that under your roof. But you do be watching all the time. Flex, flex. My mom finally gave me my dad's real name. Turns out she's been lying to me all these years. His name isn't Deadbeat Knox. So how are you gonna find him? Private investigator. <laughs> Made an appointment for tomorrow. Will you come with me? I'd be happy to give you more support. Actually, I was looking for a little uh, financial support. 
Yeah, this, this guy isn't cheap. I know you're not kissing behind my back. I did a preliminary background check on your father. Uh, his name is Vaughn Odell Knox. Ooh, Odell. We have the same middle name. Also known as Hard Knox. Knox three times, and Knox Knox, who's there? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. This must be some kind of joke. Nope. Apparently, Dwayne's father is a CIA operative. <laughs> My dad's cooler than your dad. <laughs> Dwayne, this guy's just preying on your emotions. Listen to everything that comes out of his mouth. It is wacky. Oh, you think so, huh, Mr. Flat App Man? Well, that's not much of a secret. I'm on television twice a day. Oh, yeah, well, your real name is Flex Barnes. O positive blood type. Eighth grade GPA was 2.9. Wife, Nicole, hates puppies, butterflies, and rainbows? <laughs> what kind of monster is she? <laughs> well, he's right about the puppies thing. Yeah, and, and the butterflies and the rainbows. And Lord knows, she is a monster. <laughs> but we're definitely not married. According to the court records, you've been married since June 18th, 1986. Oh, man, this has to be some kind of mistake. We've been divorced for 14 years. No, you've had an overdue library book for 14 years, but you're definitely not divorced from Nicole Aretha Barnes. I can't believe this. I I'm still married to Nicole. Well, how can you propose to Natalie if you and Nicole never got a divorce? Ooh, that's a daddy question. <laughs> I'm supposed to take Natalie to dinner in an hour. I can't believe this. For the past 14 years, I've still been married. This is crazy. Don't sweat it, Flex. When Nicole picks up, just explain the problem. She'll sign some papers and you'll be divorced. Again. For the first time. <laughs> Brianna, when you talked to your mom yesterday, what did she say? Oh, she said she was going on safari in the jungle, so she'll be unreachable for three days. Anything wrong? No, no. Oh, OK. Well, I'm headed to cheerleading practice. Good luck with your proposal tonight. Yay, Daddy! Okay, see ya. That's it, dog. The proposal's off. I could kill Nicole. You know, having a wife is ruining my relationship with my girlfriend. I'm gonna have to call Natalie now and cancel our date. Hey, honey. Let's go. Don't wanna be late. Uh, Natalie, what are you doing here? I'm just so excited about tonight. I can't wait to eat dinner and be engaged <laughs> in stimulating conversation with you. Uh, oh, oh, okay, uh, let, let me get my jacket. Come on, I'm hungry, I'm ready, and I'm 30. <laughs> hey, D, cancel everything. The flowers, the singing, everything. Come on, I told you I'm 30. <laughs> Quick, Rihanna's coming. Okay, so what do I do? Okay, follow the plan. Make up, accept her apology, take her to Burger Hut, 7.30. They have better fries at McDonald's. Oh, you're so cute. They have better fries at McDonald's. <laughs> Stick to the plan. Oh, Brianna, hey. Look, uh, I've been thinking, and I'm ready to accept your apology. Oh, Josh, I'm so happy. You know, I never meant to hurt you. Hey, it's, it's all right. Uh, how about I take you to the Burger Hut later as friends? Say... 7.30? OK. All right. <laughs> Ginger, you OK? Like you care? Even though we're not seeing each other anymore, I'd still like to be friends. Well, I can't talk about it in the hallway. I don't want prying ears knowing my business. <laughs> I wish there was some place we could go talk in private. How about the library? Burger Hut, 715. <laughs> okay, I'll see you then. Thank you, Arnez. <laughs> You're such a good friend. Uh, yeah, can you have Nicole call me as soon as she gets back to the hotel? Uh, thank you. Uh, how do you say goodbye in Skakuzi? All right, peace out. <laughs> I can't say this enough, Flex. I just love this restaurant. It's so romantic. And they have this wonderful lotion in the bathroom. It makes my fingers so soft and silky. Don't you think? Oh, your right hand is silkier. You know you can get the same results with butter. <laughs> oh my god, Flex Rose 
petals. What's the occasion? Uh, it's, it's no occasion. There's a hole in the roof, and I'm calling the health department. I'll be right back. Dwayne, you forgot to cancel the rose petals. No, this ain't your daddy. Man, I asked you to cancel all my proposal plans for tonight. Man, how could you forget? I gotta go. Uh, excuse me, could you uh, play something more romantic? But I love Here Comes the Bride. I said something more romantic. So perhaps what has gotten into you? Uh, nothing. <laughs> it's no big, uh... Uh-oh. Y'all came in a little too early. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this the right way. Natalie, all my life, I've considered myself a lucky man. Then you came along, and I feel even luckier. I love you, my daughter loves you, and the three of us are great together. Natalie, Will you marry me? Oh my God, I never expected this. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, okay, that, that's your cue, guys. <laughs> Nothing shall separate us now and forevermore. Ooh, ooh. marry me. And Jennifer. The doctor said it was peaceful, though. Hey, isn't Jennifer your cat? <laughs> Some say she's a cat. I say an angel with whiskers. You know what, Ginger? I hope you feel better, and sorry to hear about your cat. Angel. The dead thing. Whatever. But you understand me so. Is that Arnaz and Ginger? Kissing? Arnaz, how could you? It's not what you think, Brianna. This wasn't that. Brianna, wait up. She's gone. But I'm here for you, boo. <laughs> Dwayne, I'm engaged. Oh, Nat, oh, man, you are the greatest. I mean, not that many women would have said yes knowing that Flex is still married. You're still married? Oh, well, it's actually, it's a funny story, girl. <laughs> you just gonna laugh and laugh and laugh. <laughs> Cut me down. It's the craziest thing. I mean, there's Nicole, there's this baby. I don't want to hear it, Flex. Both. It's no big deal. Apparently, our divorce never went through. But once I track Nicole down, things will be fine. I don't kiss married men. But I'm not really married. All right, just legally married. <laughs> I got a message. Maybe it's in the call. Mr. Washington, this is the American consulate in Skukusa. I have bad news. Your wife, Nicole, took a drive into the jungle with her lover, Jaden. There was an accident. Their empty Jeep was found overturned several miles from the main road. Apparently, they are lost deep in the jungle. Daddy, is mommy okay? I don't know, baby. I don't know. Oh, hey, Pete. Dwayne, here's the info I promised you. Oh, man. I can't believe it. My father's in his envelope. Yes, I'll catch the first plane out. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Jaden! Oh! 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 Oh!
<laughs> Ever. Aw, oh, thanks, baby. Spirit? Yeah, that was the worst. Um, I think what I was about to say was, um, it's all about your words. And, um, maybe if you were to get a new lead singer, you would have more time to concentrate on your songwriting. That's what I was thinking. But what would the band sound like without me singing? Music? <laughs> Do not listen to her. Look, why don't you just ask the band and see how they feel? Okay. Say, guys, I've been thinking if we got a new lead singer, then... What? I... while grandma's away. <laughs> I don't have any money for you, baby. <laughs> I'm spending it all on redoing that stupid kitchen as a surprise for your grandma. Maybe if I'm lucky, she'll hate it and stay away another month. <laughs> yeah, I need to talk to mama. I'm not convinced she's still alive. Come on, I have to get over to Arnez's. Oh, Arnez is back with his mother? I thought she was, uh... <laughs> no, he has his own apartment. Oh, and you let her go over there? No, I do not. Not until she does the dishes. Okay. <laughs> One swoop, boys! <laughs> and I'm out. All right, hey, don't be long. We just have to finish up our journal entries. We have therapy tomorrow, and I don't want you stealing from the old Cosby reruns. <laughs> see, if you walk outside, you gotta put on the coat, see? And don't put on the Get dingy with it. <laughs> what? And do you have a diary too, Nancy? <laughs> it's a journal, Pop, and yes, it's a helpful tool in our therapy. Therapy? You mean you pay some stranger to tell you what your problem is? No, Dad, that's what I have you for. <laughs> I can't believe you would let your daughter go over to some strange boy's apartment. Pop, it's Arnaz. I say it's strange. <laughs> There's no telling what they could be doing over there. <laughs> Dad, unlike you, I trust my child. We've taken our relationship to a whole nother level. Well, yeah, you need to come back down to planet butt whooping. <laughs> ah, yes, in the galaxy of, I'll give you something to cry about. <laughs> Obviously, Pop, we have uh, different parenting styles. <laughs> well, I would have never let your sister go over to some boy's apartment on chaperone. Bernadette? Oh, I'm sorry, or should I say Miss July and Mechanics Monthly? <laughs> and I suppose that's what you talk about in therapy? What a bad father you think I am? Please, Dad, we only have an hour in therapy. <laughs> Look, I don't want Brianna to graduate, walk out that door, and never want to come back again. So I'd appreciate if you'd stay out of it. And if you'd stay out of my closet, you stretching out my shirts all up in here. <laughs> One of you is going to be the front man for the next great rock and roll revolution. We want someone who's going to bring it. All right, first up, Philbert Kyle Jenkins. Uh, next. <laughs> Grandpa, that's all I ever hear 
from you these days. That and I'm going to our nazis. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I'm going to our <laughs> Oh, Mr. Barnes, let me ask you. One business owner to another. Do I have to make a profit before I give myself a thousand dollar raise? The idea is to make money, Dwayne. Right. Right. Then I'll give myself two thousand dollars. <laughs> hey, Pop, what's up, D? Uh, uh, hey, Flex. Good news. I just gave myself a raise. <laughs> now I'm going to go out, spend all night celebrating, and then call myself in sick. <laughs> I feel sorry for him. Dwayne? No, his father. <laughs> Imagine going all those years not knowing you had a son, and then you meet him, and he's Dwayne. <laughs> What's with all the two, Pop? Oh, I've just been fixing some things around here you seem to be neglecting, like this sink and that flickering lamp in your bedroom. You fix my lamp? It's supposed to be that way. It sets the mood. <laughs> Please tell me you didn't touch my fog machine. I thought that was a smoking radio. I tossed that. How why can't you be like other old people? Sit in the park, feed the pigeons, and try to remember who you are. Well, excuse me for fixing things. Back in my day, when things were broken, we fixed them. And parents knew what their children were doing. Oh, so this is about Brown and Arnez? No, this is about you not knowing how to raise your child. You're too easy on her. She's got no curfew, and you let her run around all over the place with that gypsy girl. What's her name? Ghost? Spirit, Pop. My name is Spirit. You know what? You have two other children. Why don't you go irritate them? Oh, I heard that. So you think I'm irritating, huh? Well, maybe your therapist can give you the tools you need to cope with me. No, I, I'm out of here, man. I, where are my keys? Why aren't my keys in the key dish? That's what the key dish is for. The key dish are for my keys. Where are my keys? In the drawer. The key drawer. You know what? I'd appreciate if you wouldn't touch my lamp, my sink, or anything else that's broke. I like things broke. That's why I hang out with Dwayne. I'll touch anything I want to around here, mister. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have any of this stuff. Not this high-tech TV, not this overpriced couch, and not this fancy leather... Journal. Yes! We found our singer. Wait until you meet Charlie. Oh, is he cute? No, the important thing is, can Charlie sing? Yeah, but a cute lead singer can get away with being bad. Unless it's our nest. <laughs> I love your bedroom, Arnaz. Nice to meet Hendrix Forster. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Arnaz, who is Fifi and why was she in your bedroom? <laughs> This is our new singer, Charlie. She's moved here from France. Yes. My father just found a new restaurant. It's, uh, how do you say? A subway. Charlie, this is Spirit and Brianna. His girlfriend, Brianna. Oh, I didn't know you had a girlfriend. Most rockers like to be free. Yeah, well, this one's on lockdown, Frenchie. <laughs> Hey, Charlie, if you have time now, maybe we can get a little rehearsing in. Hey, whatever you say, from now on, I'm all yours. Oh, it was nice to meet you, Bridget. <laughs> all right, count down, Fitzy. Packing up already? I can't believe they finished the kitchen. I thought it'd take at least a week to get that linoleum off the walls. 
why would I take the linoleum off the walls? That would be like taking the plastic runners off the shag rugs. <laughs> and that kitchen is not ready yet. If your mother calls, tell her I will be staying at Dwayne's. Dwayne's? Why are you going over to Dwayne's? Nobody stays there on purpose. <laughs> this suffocating, overbearing, demanding father doesn't want to be a bad influence on your daughter. He read my journal. <laughs> you forgot. Nosy, stubborn, and oh yeah, I want my shirt back, even if it fits like a dress. about what Norm is. <laughs> you think so? Couldn't you see how she was throwing it in my face with every yeah? <laughs> yeah. Are you mocking me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, you really liked it? Oh, Brianna and I were just saying how great you guys sound. Well, you know, I have to give all the credit to Anas. I really feel connected to him. Well, you know what? It must be a really bad connection because he's my man. Can you hear me now? Hey, you guys miss my singing? Yes. <laughs> That's funny. I miss your singing, boo, but not as much as I miss your kisses. <laughs> well, we sound great, right? And Charlie's like, she's just so... I don't even have words for her. Brianna does. <laughs> Do you think I'm a good dad? Me, the best. Me too. Okay, now together. <laughs> They're just trying to get it to me. Well, it's not working. Shut up! Grandpa must really be mad at you. But at least he's not making eyes at Dwayne. Arnaz's new singer Charlie keeps coming on to him, and I think he likes it. Uh huh. I knew that boy was gay. No, Charlie. Oh, well, maybe it's time for you to move on and see some other people. But Daddy, I love him. Love? Brianna, you don't love him. It's just a crush. Just forget it. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. Look, it's not for me to say whether you're in love or not. I'm praying for not. <laughs> but we, we can talk about it. You sure? Yeah. Sit down. All right. So what makes you think this Charlie is interested in Arnaz? Well, the way she, and how she, and, ooh, you wouldn't believe when, I just know. You don't think Arnez is interested in her, do you? Well, I don't think so. Well, you should see her up there, all cooing and gyrating, and she's French. Ooh, Arnaz, the croissant, croissant. Look, baby, relationships are based on trust. Now, if you really care about them, you got to talk to them. And remember... Talk slowly. It is Arnez. <laughs> oh no, come here. Party, party, gotta keep that. Uh, 
the song we're singing is about you. It's called I Want a Brianna. Charlie just helped me put it together. I, I want a Brianna? <laughs> I want to crawl in a hole and die. <laughs> and as I don't want no trouble with your cheerleader girlfriends. I saw Brigham it off. <laughs> Brianna, there's no need to be jealous. Well, I wouldn't say I was jealous. I might have gotten the wrong impression. I'd have put my foot in my mouth, but jealous I am not. And there's no reason to be. Remember, I want a Brianna. And I want an Arnez. Okay. Okay, well, I'll leave you two alone so you can go back to rehearsing. Cool. I'll call you later. All right. And then this part here. Arnez. See if you did it, it's a little bit longer. And then you kiss me and my whole world is right. If I get only... I think for this one, just me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when you crack me up, back in my day, people used to have sons like you, except me. Oh, hi, Flex. <laughs> yeah, I really think we should talk, or did you lose your voice from all that fake laughing? Sorry, son. Me and Dwayne are in the middle of something. Yeah, we're, uh, we're playing cast. <laughs> Heads up. <laughs> Strike one. Dwayne, why don't you go and get those pictures of your father? I want to get to know the real Dwayne. You want to get to know me? Well, okay. <laughs> you came over here to talk me into coming back. Forget it. I'm having a good time over here. Weird, but good. Dad, I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings, but you shouldn't have read my journal. It's like that time when you found a Victoria's Secret catalog under my bed. Now, I really was looking for a bathroom for Mom. For Christmas. In July. Well, why would I be hurt just because you called me suffocating, overbearing, and demanding? You meant those things in a good way, right, Flex? <laughs> you did what you thought was best. You were just too strict. I mean, if you had just trusted me, maybe I wouldn't have constantly tested the boundaries and wouldn't have ended up a dad at 18. It's not my fault. You thought safe sex meant keeping the car door locked. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, that's where you're wrong. Brianna wasn't conceived in your Cutler Supreme. She was conceived at the Green Door Motel. How you like me now? <laughs> Motel. Those were your matchbooks? I owe your mother an apology. All I'm saying is it, it, it would have been nice if, if we could have talked about what I was going through instead of facing off all the time. Pop, I love you, but, but I don't want things to be the same way between Brianna and me. Are you saying you're a better father than I was? Well, you sure as hell didn't turn out so bad. I put three kids through college, and one of them is on TV, and not on an episode of the Cops. <laughs> Dad, I'm not saying you did a poor job, but I don't want it to take 20 years for Brianna to tell me how she really feels. That's probably going to therapy. You mean you're not there because of me? No, I'm there because of Brianna. And the therapist is kind of hot. <laughs> Hey, I just wanted to tell you that you were right and everything's cool with me and Arnaz, but I'm still looking out for Charlie. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, does this mean you two made up? I don't know. Dad? Yeah. I guess I'm realizing there are a lot of different ways to be a good parent. And from what I see in front of me, we both did a pretty good job. <laughs> now, let's get out of here before Dwayne comes back. He likes to be held after he cries, and I have not in the mood. <laughs> see, the whole thing I don't mind, it's all the rocking back and forth and back, and then you gotta rub his ear and all that. <laughs> Definitely keep your eyes on her. <laughs> oh, 
last time on One on One. So are you proposing to Natalie tonight? Nope. On Saturday night. I'm moving to Africa. You pray for something long enough and it happens. <laughs> my mom finally gave me my dad's real name. Turns out she's been lying to me all these years. So how are you gonna find her? Private investigator. <laughs> According to the court records, you've been married since June 18th, 1986. Oh man, this has to be some kind of mistake. Will you marry me? Oh my God! Not that many women would have said yes knowing that Flex is still married. Is that Hernandez and Ginger? Mr. Washington, your wife, Nicole, took a drive into the jungle with her lover, Jaden. Their empty Jeep was found overturned several miles from the main road. Daddy, is mommy okay? Day 30 in the search for Nicole Barnes. Good morning, I'm Craig Simpson, live from Baltimore, here with local TV personality, sports anchor Flex Washington and his daughter Brianna. Now, Mr. Washington, your wife. The ex, 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 ex wife people. <laughs> I shook her long before she disappeared. Daddy, I've told you once before, my mommy's alive. I could feel it in my bones. This is every American family's worst nightmare a tourist disappearing in a strange land, fighting for her life, a mother. An ex-wife. Oh, she's still his wife because he never got divorced. And now I'm engaged to an almost bigamist. <laughs> Natalie, sorry, mommy. Lo siento. Lo siento. Uh, she's half Puerto Rican. Oh, yo también. Yo también. <laughs> Brianna, this must be really difficult for you. After 30 days, your mother could be... Uh -uh. Don't say it, don't you even think it. My mama is not dead. I've seen those Tarzan movies. And if an unarmed white man in a diaper can survive in the jungle, you know my mama can. <laughs> oh, hope springs eternal in the heart of a naive child. Uh, uh, now, if we only have proof that she's still alive. And you are? Uh, friend and next door neighbor, Dwayne Odell Knox, and I unselfishly support Flex and Brianna as they wait for news of their beloved Nicole. Ah, oh, thanks, man. Yeah. And America. You can support the family, too. For only $19.99, you can get an official Fine Baby's Mama t-shirt. <laughs> Made entirely of recycled cotton. One size fits all, if you're all my size. <laughs> Thank you, Craig. Thank you, Dwayne. And there you have it, as a desperate family clings to hope and a stained t-shirt. The search for Nicole Aretha Barnes continues. Hey, everybody, what's going on? Hey! It's alive! It's alive! Sometimes in this life You can feel all by yourself Check, one, two. But I have a partner But I can't turn no one else uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself When there's nobody around uh -huh. oh, yeah. I'll be there to think and then What a true love we are Maybe you can get some Maybe one no every wish and every prayer, and I thought of you with every inch of my heart. Thank you, thank you. Now, where were you, and why did you call? <laughs> oh, sweetie, I didn't know you thought I was missing. See, after the accident, Jaden and I found a remote village near Victoria Falls. <laughs> no phones, no TV, no lights. Only our love and the monkeys to entertain us. You guys have kids already? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, Flex. Can your teeth get any bigger? <laughs> Well, girl, we're all just glad you're alive. Now get rid of her. Say what? Uh, no, uh, no, 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 don't, don't take that the wrong way, Nicole. But you and I are still married. Let me talk to you for a minute, Flex. <laughs> if you don't want to marry a girl, just tell her. <laughs> no, Mommy, you and Daddy are still married, which actually means we're a real family. Oh, Ooh, if you excuse me, I'm about to go make fun of Spirit and her common-law parents. <laughs> What is she talking about? Wow, you guys were freaking it up monkey style. <laughs> I found out that you never filed our divorce papers. Shame on you, Nicole. Flex, wait a minute. I signed those papers. I remember it like it was yesterday. Dwayne mailed them. Hey, I mailed those papers just like I did everything else for Nicole while Flex was gone. Picking up her groceries, picking up her dry cleaning, picking up the pieces of your broken home. <laughs> hmm, good times. <laughs> It's no big deal. All we have to do is refile before a judge and it's done. 
This is a minor speed bump on the highway to wedded bliss. Girl, wait till you marry him. This is only the first of many bad problems. That's a thing. Just ten minutes ago, I thought you were dead. Oh, good times. <laughs> Day 30 in the search for your mom. You're my brave little soldier. Um, Josh, my mom is back. Oh, day one in the celebration of your mom's return. Josh, for the last time, just because Arnez was macking on Ginger at Burger Hut doesn't mean she wants you back. Look, I am perfectly happy just being Brianna's friend. How would you like a nice long hamstring massage? Dog. Sure, that's guest. There's Arnez and Ginger, look at them holding hands like Ben Affleck and Way Low. You know what, your, your hamstrings are so tight, they need some Tiger Bomb. And I'm gonna go get some in Chinatown. All right. All right, Brianna, it's been a month, your mom's back. Maybe now you're ready to hear the truth. Oh no, I see the truth. All the jelly shaking truth. <laughs> Tell her, Ginger. Tell her what really happened between us. Arnez, please don't make me. Ginger, you have to tell her the truth. About us sleeping together? Yes. <gasps> no! What? Arnaz, you slept with Ginger? No, no, no. I did not sleep with Ginger. Nazzy, it's out now. You don't have to lie. Arnaz, how could you? I didn't. She's lying, Brianna. No, I'm not. Remember, Arnaz? Me and you? <laughs> the couch? You know what? <laughs> I'm happy for you, too. It's the couch I'm sad for. Wait, Brianna. Arnaz, how could you? Do you know how long your mother had that couch on layaway? Well, we're here. Yeah. This is the big day. It's the biggest day of my life. We're, we're getting, getting a, a divorce. divorce. <laughs> it's like my birthday. No, no, no. Winning the lottery. The Super Bowl. <laughs> the fresh air on your face when your mama lets you out of the closet. <laughs> uh, good times. Good times. And gentlemen. Judge Maybelline, what are you doing here? This is a divorce court. That's what I do daily, before or after Oprah. Check your local listings. Now sit down. It says here that you two want a divorce, and you are their witness. State your full legal names for the record, please. Uh, uh Dwayne Odell Knox. Nicole Aretha Barnes. Uh, Flexter Alexander Barnes. Flexter? <laughs> Yeah, you didn't think my parents would just name me Flex, did you? <laughs> uh, but Judge, you might know me as Flex Washington, WINX sports anchor, before and after Oprah check your local listings. <laughs> Cute. Today I know you as my 12 o'clock. <laughs> now it says that the two of you have been married for 17 years and you have a lovely daughter. I saw her on TV the other day with your Spanish-speaking nanny. Uh, Judge, that's my fiance, Natalie. She's half Puerto Rican. <laughs> and I'm half tired. <laughs> Mr. Knox, can you vouch for this couple? Yes, I can, Your Honor. Now, you say these two have been separated for 15 years? Uh. <laughs> uh, that is correct. In the last 15 years, have the two of them lived together as man and wife? Your Honor, we were never man and wife. We were man and beast. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I want to choke the spit out of you. We'll do what you got to do. Mr. Washington, I want order in my courtroom. Now, Mr. Knox, to your knowledge, have the two of them slept together in the last 15 years? <laughs> uh, could you repeat the question, Your Honor? Have they had sex, little man? Uh, oh, yes, Thanksgiving 2001. But, 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 but it, it was Thanksgiving, Your Honor. <laughs> You're supposed to give to those less fortunate than yourself. <laughs> Exhibit A, Your Honor. What, can, can we just get a divorce now, please? Well, I could waste our time and keep asking you more questions, but it's obvious that the two of you don't get along, so I guess I could grant you a divorce. Yes! Yes, 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 But not today. <laughs> State law requires you to go into marriage counseling. Oh, no, we don't need counseling. We need divorcing. Divorce. Well, you should have thought about that, Mr. Washington, before you basted your wife on Turkey Day. Josh, what's taking so long? Brianna Sagan. Brianna, 
why are you doing this? This is just childish. Hey, Arnez hurt me, so I'ma hurt him back. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Well, what is hell hath for bratty girls? <laughs> that. Yeah, these are cool trunks, Brianna, but it's not even my birthday. Yeah, but it's your half birthday. See, you're 16 and a half. Wow. You did all that in your head? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Josh, couch. Oh, is that my cake? <laughs> you know, if you really want to upset Arnez, we should oil him up first, make him real shiny. Girl, if you don't just go. Come in. All right, Brianna. I know what you're doing. What? Getting lost in all this fineness? <laughs> wow. This is the best half birthday ever. Brianna, I was standing right outside the door. I know all about your little plan. Well, I knew that you were standing outside the door, and I did all this to expose you for the eavesdropper that you are. Well, well I, I knew that you knew that I was standing outside the door. And, but did you know that Ginger set me up and that Josh was in on it? Right, stop it! Aren't you guys are ruining my half birthday? Josh, is this true? Look, I didn't know what she was planning when she asked me to bring you to Burger Hut. She used me. Hug? No hug. You knew exactly what Ginger was up to at Burger Hut. Brianna, make him leave. You leave. You leave. No, 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 you leave. Put your shirt on, man. Get is out of here. Wait, how about, both, how about both of y'all leave? I don't know who to believe anymore. Just go. Go. Hug. Hug. Look, therapy's a trap. Now, the best way to get through this is to get along. So this government-appointed quack will stamp our papers. You're right, you're right. So you let me do all the talking while you just sit there and wag your tail. Well, at least I'm not wearing somebody else's tail. Hey, hey, hey! Don't touch my hair. Oh, my bad. I leave that to the stable boy. <laughs> Hello. Flex, Nicole. Hi. I'm Dr. Medway. Easy way to remember. Med as in I'm a medical doctor. Way as in I will show you the way. <laughs> Medway. Um, um, uh, why don't you just tell me what happened between you two? Well, we loved, we lost. Yeah. We have dinner reservations. Can you stand by divorce papers so we can be on our way? <laughs> Okay, let's try something Dr. Phil stole from me. <laughs> I'd like you two to face each other eye to eye. Uh, that's gonna be hard, Doc. She's kind of cross-eyed. You know, she can watch a tennis match without moving her head. Yeah. That, is, that is not true, Dr. Matthew. I saw that, Flex. Hush, Trigger. Okay, Mr. Cut from the Clippers. Oh, that's cold. I like your jump shot. Oh. <laughs> I ain't say nothing about your no, cold feet. I ain't nobody oh, saying nothing about your feet. Hey, 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 look at you two. You're, you're acting like a couple of kids. My guess is whenever you two get together, you regress back to being married teenagers. That's why you don't get along. Your relationship never grew up. Analysis. <laughs> it's kind of a trip, huh? <laughs> Nicole, I want you to share with Flex what you felt initiated the breakup of your marriage. Well, I, I never understood why Flex stopped loving me. Mm. What are you talking about, Nicole? I never stopped loving you, you know that. Flex, come on, I was left alone raising a baby by myself. And all I could think about was, what if you married me just because I was pregnant? Nicole, I married you because I loved you. The fact that you were pregnant just added shotguns to the ceremony. <laughs> You see, you see, everything is a joke with him, including our marriage. Nicole, I know you don't believe me, but even though I was on the road all the time, I was still serious about our marriage. And I missed you guys. I missed holidays, I missed birthdays. I even missed my baby's first words. Where's daddy? <laughs> you were my family.
What's wrong with your face, girl? Oh, this has never happened before. I'm leaking. <laughs> um, Flex, you never told me you missed us. Why? I don't know, Nicole. I guess I just thought you knew. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Does this look like me? Hey, I'm Dr. Mitley. <laughs> I'm just lighting in the mood. It's getting a little heavy in here, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so, so what now, Dr. Mitley? Well, obviously, you two have some unfinished business. Maybe you need some room to breathe, to think about it. Thought about, about it. it. <laughs> now, can you stamp our divorce paper so we can be on our way? Yeah, here we you go. Oh, 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 oh. So your roll, dog. <laughs> Maryland state law says you need a one-year legal separation before a divorce can be finalized. What? Sucks, huh? It's the Maryland way, not the med way. <laughs> med way. <laughs> It's not my fault. What do you want me to do? It's the law. Look, I'm too tall to go to jail. You know they take the big guys down first. I can't believe this. I came over here in this to celebrate my engagement with my single fiance, only to be standing here in my underwear in front of a married man. Stop staring. Natalie, it takes about a year to plan a wedding anyway. Everything is going to be fine. I'm sorry. No, I'm the one who's sorry. I'm the one who fell in love with a guy who's still married and probably still not over his ex-wife. Oh, now you're talking crazy. <laughs> Natalie, wait, you, you can't leave like Next, this. Just let me go, I need my space. No, I know that. I just wanted to tell you that... that you don't have no clothes on. <laughs> bah, 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 boom, girl. <laughs> I'm sorry therapy didn't go as well as you planned. Uh, your mother's like a foot fungus. The more you scratch, the more you itch. Why do you hate mommy so much? Sweetie, I don't hate her. In fact, she's my best friend. You just caught her fungus, daddy. It's just that she just gets me so frustrated sometimes. I mean, she knows how to get to me. No matter how many times we get together, it's the same old dance. The cabbage patch? <laughs> you know, your mother and I got together when we were about your age. And we could not get enough of each other. Now we can't take too much of each other. You know, that's what happens sometimes. You get too serious, too young. And your relationship never grows. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think I do. Arnaz, can I talk to you? Look, Brianna, I tried talking to you, but you won't listen. Look, but I need you to listen. I don't want to be like foot fungus to you. <laughs> you supposed to be turning me on? I hope not. I just, I don't want us to get so wrapped up in each other that we can't really be friends, and I need us to be friends. So, you don't want to be my girlfriend ever? No, but... I want us to be friends forever. Friends who make out all the time? <laughs> How about friends who won't grow up fighting all the time? Look, Brianna, to be honest, I've been working really, really hard at this. And truthfully, I'm tired. <laughs> so, friends. Thank you, Arnest. But you remember that whenever you decide to change your mind. A little foot fungus. <laughs> uh, I got something for the grill. Ah, uh, yes. All right, Dwayne. I've got to know. That's just me and you, friend to idiot. <laughs> Did you really mail our divorce papers? Man, I can't believe you don't trust your best friend. Man, yes, I mailed them. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm sorry, man. It, how do you want your steak?
95 to 64 East, and we're in Virginia Beach. Brianna, do you really think your dad is gonna let you take a road trip to Hip Hopalooza? Of course he will, as soon as he sees how prepared I am. <laughs> oh, look! Girl, there's a West Virginia, too! <laughs> oh, here he comes. Watch me work. <laughs> oh, hey, Daddy! Oh, nice shirt. You look great. I think I should nominate you for one of Baltimore's 50 Most Beautiful. Just Baltimore? <laughs> oh, my bad. I mean, all of Maryland and West Virginia. <laughs> oh, mediocre compliments, Arnez avoiding eye contact, Spirit smiling like she doesn't know she has something in her teeth. <laughs> Girl, what you want? Okay, we want to drive down to Virginia Beach for the Hip Hop Palooza. It's the best hip hop concert of the year. They're still cleaning up the city from last year's. <laughs> Everyone's gonna be there, Mr. Washington. Angie Stone, Floor Tree, Avant. <laughs> And we're so prepared, we even joined that driving club. Ah. Well, what are you talking about? You know, A-A-A. -A -A. Ah. <laughs> Triple A is an acronym. No, 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 no. It's not just in Ohio, it's nationwide. You are too young and too challenged for a road trip. But Daddy, you used to drive down to Virginia Beach all the time. You make me look at all those stupid I mean, memorable photo albums. But I went with my family. My dad drove. He turned those road trips into magic. But Daddy, I need those magical memories too. Where are my pictures of me eating fried dough and riding the teacups wishing I hadn't eaten fried dough? You know what, Brianna? You're right. We should have those memories. Sing-alongs, naming farm animals, seeing how long you can go before you have to pee. <laughs> i tell you what. We're all going on a road trip. Hip Hop Palooza! Yay! <laughs> you do realize he's coming with us. I know, I'm trying to cover the tears. <laughs> Sometimes in the start, you can feel all by yourself. Yeah, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I'll be there. Flex, every travel game I could find in my mama's basement. Uh, travel Boggle, Travel Scrabble, and Travel Twister. <laughs> That's my favorite. Right hand, booty. <laughs> Flex, you're only going to Virginia Beach. What do you need all these games for? Candy, I'm trying to create fond and loving memories that will last a lifetime. I said, hurry up, I will leave without you. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 Arnez. This bag looks over the limit. All right. Half an inch under my size requirements. Looks like someone just earned themselves a travel star! <laughs> travel stars? Wow, Daddy, that is so cool. Okay, you sitting in the front with him, right? Can we go now? All right, now I make copies of the schedule just like my dad used to do. I plan snack time, game time, and scheduled stops. Oh, you hear that? It's time to hit the road. Yeah, but it says right here, at 12 o'clock, depart. And at 12.01, regret. Cheetos! <laughs> Good one, Daddy. Still like my grit. Oh, what was that for? A red Volkswagen bug. Every time you see one, you punch. So like about yellow. <laughs> Ooh, 1.30. It's time for the trivia game. Okay, who can tell me where the Emancipation Proclamation was signed? At the bottom. No, at the White House, silly. Look at you, just wasting all that freedom. Okay, okay, here's one. The dogwood is the official flower for what state? The state of boredom. <laughs> Daddy, we're tired of all your games. The Civil War game, slug bug, name that roadkill. <laughs> Nobody cares about that stuff. I do, sweetie. I'm trying to give you a family memory. You know, sometimes an experience like this isn't appreciated until you're older. You have to cherish these moments, baby girl. Yeah, well, so far, this has been the most boring 12 hours of my life. 
It's only been an hour and a half. <laughs> oh my God, you brought us into a time warp. <laughs> All right, now, you keep talking like that. I'm gonna drop you on the side of the road with no shoes. That'll be more fun than a bonus round of Cap the Cows. Yeah, that was whack. Slug bug green. Ow! I'm going to the back and listen to my CDs. It's dangerous up here. Man, fine. Listen to your music. Have your store-bought fun. I'll play by myself. Huh. One cow, two cow, three cow. Ooh, pigs! One pick, two pick, three pick. <laughs> oh, hey, baby. Your diabetic Dwayne needs his candy. This article says the five keys to a healthy relationship are one, listen to your partner. I hear you loud and clear, partner. <laughs> two, be honest with your partner. You are turning me on, honestly. <laughs> Be dependable. Baby, you can count on me to take off these shoes, and then I'll start counting on you. <laughs> Four, never lose the spontaneity. Always surprise your partner. Boo, girl. <laughs> and five, make sure you and your partner have a real emotional connection and not just physical. Enjoy each other's company without using sex as a crutch. But. Man, what does this magazine know anyways? I mean, it's only good for the free perfume samples. Ooh, I'm obsessed. <laughs> Dwayne, baby, do you think we're using sex as a substitute for real intimacy? Oh, oh baby, of course not. I mean, we have a great relationship. Well, then let's do it. That's what I'm talking about, girl. Come here, give me some <laughs> No, let's go the rest of the weekend without having sex. What, both of us? Dwayne, I'm serious. Now, I love you, baby, and I know you love me, too. So let's just prove to each other that there's more to our relationship than just sex. Y yeah, baby, yeah. That's, that's a brilliant idea. Okay, baby. <laughs> so if you'll excuse me, I'm just gonna go back there and uh, take off all my clothes and take a hot shower and get all pruney. <laughs> and ash it. <laughs> Just like you like it. I'm still not having sex with you. Oh, shoot, man. <laughs> so, telling me I'm not fun. How do people who aren't even old enough to vote know what fun is? <laughs> Coming up, more on the rainstorm that's going to pound the East Coast. But first, a word from our sponsor. Hey, slow down, Halle Berry. The posted speed limit is 65. <laughs> oh, well, come on, left foot. You want to pass, pass. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep on, sleepyheads. Nice blur you got there. Does it have a gas pedal? No offense, but in this country, we drive on the right side of the road and obey the laws. Well, darling, you drive like my grand. <laughs> Hello, babe. Oh, that's a bloody bummer, isn't it? <laughs> that's what you get, you, you speeder. I see that your wit is as slow as your driving, sweetheart. My wit? This is my wit in your rear view mirror. How about that? What? Low gas? My, my schedule stop is until King's Dominion. King's Dominion? <laughs> Guess I gotta call Ah. <laughs> Man, shoot, no service. <sighs> oh, there's a gas station. Yeah, I can walk that. Uh, hey, Brianna, wake up. Hey, Brianna, I'm gonna go down the road and get some gas, and I'll be right back. Okay? Uh, yeah, whatever, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy, can't you see I'm trying to play the sleeping game? <laughs> Fine. 
with that attitude, someone just lost their travel star. <laughs> Hey guys, you know, why am I moving? Hey guys, wake up, wake up. Rihanna, where's your dad? My dad? I don't know, where is he? You know, he did say he was gonna leave us on the side of the road. Oh my God, I think he did leave us in the middle of, where are we? Brianna, I didn't see your dad anywhere. Oh my god, oh my god, he left us on the side of the road. Like an old mattress, like roadkill, like the rest of NSYNC. <laughs> Don't panic, Brianna, just, just, just call him on your phone. Oh, okay. Oh, no service, oh lord, we stranded the highway, who the kids go get us? <laughs> Brianna, you forget, I'm with you. I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. Oh my god, it's the hooligan! <laughs> As the back of my neck feels real safe. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That hooligan looks like Angie Stone. Hey, did you know you're Angie Stone? I love that song about the brothers. Thank you, baby. My accountant loves it too. Yeah, me too. You know, I'm a mixed brother. Half soul, half rock. Half a brain. Where's my daddy? Where's my daddy? Look, your dad and I got into a race. Probably ran out of gas, and I'll bet he's up ahead at the gas station. Be happy to give the kids a lift. Wait, wait, wait. My daddy said never to get in the car with strangers. Look, I don't know about you, but I'm getting out the car. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Fine. Leave me. Leave me like my daddy left me. Cold and alone with hooligans lurking about. Don't be so country, Spirit. Would you please sign my chest? <laughs> when I get to that gas station and see my daddy, I'm gonna have a few words for him. Can't believe he left me on the side of the road with Itty and Ut. Just wait until he sees me pulling up in a limo with Floetry and Angie Stone. Uh, 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 uh. That's Angie Stone and Floetry. You know, I'm a musician too. Oh, for real? What you play, though? Obviously something really heavy. Uh, mm. You should hear me play the French horn. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Actually, we're English love. Okay, here's the gas station. Come on, Arnaz, let's go get him. Can't believe my daddy got me coming all the way out there. So, do you like your English muffins light or dark? Because I go both ways. <laughs> no, that's cute. That's nice. Arnaz, come with me. <laughs> Now, we... ah! <laughs> Rihanna Arnaz, the other one! I lost the children! Oh, Lord, where are the children? He wasn't there. Uh, but I picked up a little something, ladies. Mm. Uh, trail mix? Oh, it's mine. I can't believe my daddy would do this to me. Sweetie. Any father down enough to bring his daughter and her friends to a concert with moi as a headliner <laughs> wouldn't abandon you. Why didn't we just play his games? Would a simple round of Slugbug have killed us? Yes. Slugbug. We love Slugbug. Slugbug Red. I, I don't even see a red Volkswagen. Oh, you have to see one? That's not how we play it in London. OK, you know what? Enough of the Slugbug. My daddy is out there somewhere. We have to find him. So maybe your father went the other way to go and get gas and is at the truck right now waiting on you. I mean, like you said, Brianna, he'll be really surprised if you pull up in the limo with Floetry and Angie Stone. I mean, I'm sorry, Angie Stone and Floetry. <laughs> gonna so, how's your mom? Oh, she's good. Oh. Yeah, she's, she's good. Oh. Thanks, thanks oh. for asking. <laughs> how's yours? Good, good. Real good. Yeah. Do okay. Hmm. <laughs> so have we proven we're friends yet? Oh, come on, Dwayne. 
Now, I know there's more to our relationship besides sex, and baby, I really want to explore that other side. All right, Dora the Explorer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just gonna order a pizza. Get it with pepperoni, bell peppers. And, and extra, extra cheese. cheese. And maybe we should get an order of... Breadsticks? Bread <laughs> with the side of marinara sauce. Well, <laughs> and what's dinner without dessert? Chocolate, Chocolate peanut, peanut butter, butter ice cream. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. oh, baby, we do have other stuff in common besides sex. We have food. Oh, <laughs> oh Dwayne, baby, what we have is real. Baby, that's what I've been trying to tell you. I don't need some magazine to tell me that we're perfect together. <laughs> Come here. Oh, mm. Ooh. Mm. Cherry lip gloss? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm thinking I want my candy before dinner. Uh, Come here. Oh. Yo, man, somebody stole it. Man, they were quick in the sticks. This isn't funny, Arnez. My dad left me. That might be normal for you, but for me, it's my first time. Don't worry, baby. He'll turn up, and this will all be a funny memory one day. If I ever see him again, that's all he ever wanted from me is fun memories. But then I became a road diva. <laughs> Honey, you ain't seen a road diva until you've been on tour with Mariah Carey. <laughs> <laughs> or so I heard. Brianna! Spirit! I'm there! How was everything? A tall glass of chocolate milk. I just got here. Oh, here's your change. How was everything? A tall glass of chocolate milk? I said I just got here. Oh, my bad. I have short-term memory loss. I tried everything. Acupuncture, medication, hypnotherapy, acupuncture. <laughs> so what can I get you? Uh, what I need is a pay phone. Oh, we got one right over there. Call whoever you want. I'll give you my phone number if I can remember it. <laughs> oh, snap. You're a vine. Yeah, what's, what's up, up man? What's I'm up? a big fan. <laughs> Read your mind. That's the cut, man. Thanks, man. Uh, you mind if I get an autograph after I make this phone call? Yeah, but, but I'm waiting on a phone call. I'll be quick. Now, I lost the signal on my cell phone. I need to call the police about my daughter. I, I hear you, dog, but I'm waiting on a phone call from my personal groomer. Uh, I, I'm thinking, man, should I use Sporting Waves or, or Murray's? <laughs> uh, I say Sporting Waves. Yeah, yeah, Sporting Waves. Hey, man, I said I'm waiting on a phone call, man. I'm having hair issues. Man, you're gonna have medical issues if you don't let me call my... <laughs> my son. What do you use? Man, leave me alone. Hi there, hot chocolate. Haven't seen you in these parts before. But I just, I was... Oh, nice smile. All those teeth, you all... What am I going to do? I've lost my daughter. I've done that. But don't worry, they always come back. But you don't understand. All I was trying to do was give her some family memories, but instead I took her on the worst road trip ever. And because of my stubbornness, I'll never get to see her smile again, never get to hear her laugh, never, never hear her sweet voice. Daddy? There it is. <laughs> Rihanna, oh, baby, I thought I lost you. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, Daddy, please forgive me. I was such a brat earlier. From now on, I'll play any game you want me to. Slugbug Yellow. Ooh. It's the loving version. Daddy, I'm sorry. This was your road trip. I should have been more flexible. Don't worry about it, Daddy. The concert's been washed out. We heard it on the radio. The whole boardwalk is flooded. Oh, that's too bad. You girls will love me in my thong. <laughs> okay, kids, my bad. We went through all this trouble, and you don't even get to go to the concert. Don't worry, Mr. Washington. We got to ride in the limo with Floyd Train and Angie Stone. Uh, Angie Stone and Floyd Train. <laughs> yep, and that's a once-in-a-lifetime memory. Hey, I got an idea for another memory. You're the one that I want now, baby. I want you to give me your heart. Cause you mean everything to me. I want to be where you are. Said I want to be where you are. Said I wanna be where you are. So said we all go talk a liquor, we all go sing a liquor, but try and know the info will always choose the second. In the part of the You're so lucky you have such a good day. You must be the apple of his eye. Yeah, he's alright.
What was that for? Giving me a memory. But there I go again, what I really meant to say Was give it to me cause I heard it was the phrase of hate Hey, welcome arts, can I get you anything? Uh, milkshakes for everybody. <laughs> she ain't gonna remember. Talk to the band. But baby, wait. I thought we were stopping by Shakespeare on the boardwalk. It'll be gone soon. Shakespeare's never gone. He's like the queer old English version of Tupac. <laughs> Next time, I promise. <laughs> Not that latte to go, please. That makes the music sound better? Make it too. Yeah, well, that depends. Are you gonna drink it or pour it in your ears? <laughs> <laughs> I was suffering through the last band, I couldn't help but notice you looked as bored as I felt. Yeah, well, rock music really isn't my thing. And you were noticing me? <laughs> How could I not? I'm Greg. Hi, Greg, I'm Brianna. How about we go to a club where dancing is more than banging your head and throwing yourself against a wall? Well, that does sound nice. But? But I'm... I'm sort of here with my boyfriend. Well, that sort of sucks for me. <laughs> Guess it's just not my night. Oh, I wouldn't say that. That girl over there licking the frosting off her scone is checking you out. That's my sister. And she's checking you out. <laughs> I'm glad we met, Brianna. You have a good night. Well, all right then. Hey. Oh, hey, bud. Baby. Sometimes in the slide, you can feel all by yourself. I'll be glad to take it then. What a true love we are found. Can a body break this bond? Living one on one. Now we have a I'm trying to study. Sweetie? Can't you just study in another room? Pumpkin? Can't you just go play on the boardwalk like the rest of the outer work guitarist? Yo, where's the food? We made a shopping list three days ago. Why haven't you gone to the store yet, Lisa? Well, you can blame me for a lot of things around here. And you do. All of you. <laughs> All of the time. <laughs> but groceries were not my responsibility this week. Because they're Sarah's. What? Don't look at me. I just went grocery shopping two weeks ago. You know who never goes grocery shopping? Cash. Like every other white man, he's living high on the hog while the rest of us just starve. Check out Blondie playing the race card. Hey, I'm from a trailer park. In the Midwest, that's considered the hood. Well, I'm not shopping. Look, I pay for the cleaning supplies and the food last, so you two better work it out. You tell those white people, you strong, beautiful black man. I mean, DMAC. Hey, baby bruh! Michelle, what are you doing here? That's how you greet your sister? The one who has a videotape of you dancing to Ricky Martin? You wouldn't dare show that tape to anybody. Maybe not, but I might kick your ass. I like to see that. Uh, let me introduce you to everybody. No, 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 you describe them all to me. I know who's who. 
That's uh, Arnez, Cash, Brianna, and Sarah. Uh, hey, hey, how you doing? And you all? I'm Lisa. Uh, I was DMAC's neighbor in the dorms. We met like six times. Oh. Well, did you change your hair and lose some weight? No, I've looked like this since I was five. Oh, well, nice to see you again, Lucy. So, Michelle, why aren't you at school? Well, I have a few days off and was missing the fam, so I stopped by on my way to surprise mom and dad. Surprise them as in you gonna need a seventh year to graduate? <laughs> oh, are you hoping to be a doctor or a lawyer? No, she has a problem going to class. Oh, so you're just like Lisa. Lisa who? <laughs> no, Michelle just needs to apply herself. Wow! You know, if you had hair plugs and a Chinese secretary you were sleeping with, I swear you were dead. <laughs> What are you gonna do next? Tell me that my boyfriend Roscoe is no good for me. No, I like Roscoe. I hope dad looks as good when he's that old. <laughs> Speaking of your dad, so the men in your family like Asian women, huh? Well, we have a half-brother in San Francisco that we're not allowed to talk about to prove it. <laughs> Yes, you bought food. I knew your conscience would get to you. Hardly. I didn't start a matchmaking service so I could fix my food up with your face. Now, this is my dinner. You still owe the house groceries. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go enjoy half of this, then throw the other half away. Why don't you bypass your throat and slap it right on your saddlebags? Hello? Is there any toilet paper out there? Nope, we're all out. Like an awful big waste of cotton balls. <laughs> so wait, nobody called him D-Mac in high school? No, he gave himself that nickname in college. At Malibu Prep, they called him Whitey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, D-Mac, I love your sister. She is just like you. Well, except when she talks to me, she doesn't stare at my chest. <laughs> So look, y'all, Brianna and I were talking about going to this new club, and I know the guy at the door. So who's in? I am. Why couldn't my sister have been hot and cool like you? Would have made my prom a lot more fun. Hey. Hey. Oh, hey, baby, guess what? Michelle invited all of us to a new club to party tonight. Mm, I have to pass. I've been working all day. But I had two midterms this week. I need to blow off some steam. Sweetie, I can't. I'm exhausted. Plus, I have to write a song for one of my classes tomorrow. Ooh, if I had your discipline, I would have graduated in five years. <laughs> Come on, Arnez, I go everywhere you want. Rock concerts, lame action movies. I've even seen that stupid wax statue of Jimi Hendrix five times. Oh, at the wax museum? I wanted a souvenir, so I snuck over the rope and cut off his pinky toe. Cool. Oh, but why the pinky toe? Well, that's all I could get at after the guards wrestled me down to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Are you two done? <laughs> Sorry. So, Arnaz, are you going or what? I told you. I can hardly keep my eyes open. Maybe some other time, okay? It's always some other time. Come on, Brianna. We don't need him. We like you better anyway. <laughs> You're driving, right? Michelle? Hey. I love this music. Oh, I hope I didn't wake you up. Oh, uh, no. Cash woke me up when you guys got back. He stepped on my face climbing into the top bunk. Once you had dirty sock in your mouth, there's no going back to sleep. <laughs> what are you doing up? 
No, sometimes I get a picture in my head and I can't go back to sleep until I sketch it. I'm the same way. I get a song in my head and I can't go back to sleep until it stops. You don't hear voices, do you? <laughs> wow. You're really good. You think? Usually I try not to. <laughs> you know, uh, D-Mac told me why you moved to L.A. It's really cool that you're out here pursuing your music. I wish everyone felt that way. I hear that. I've always wanted to paint, but my parents insist I get some useless degree and go to law school. Like America needs another bad lawyer. <laughs> with my grades, college wasn't even an option. Who knew being done would pay off? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could be more like you, though. I mean, I'm like most people, just too scared to pursue their dreams. I was too scared not to. I mean, music is my passion. I couldn't imagine my life without it. Plus, my only other option was a barber's on school modeling. I mean, I do have the complexion of a 10-year-old girl. Wow, you really do. I mean, not that I've ever touched a 10-year-old girl. <laughs> I'm kind of hungry. You want to go grab a bite to eat, my treat? Unless you're too full from that mayo. No, mayo never fills me up. Okay. Uh, except when I'm mixing it with my cereal. But hey. It isn't my birthday. Oh. <laughs> Where'd you get that coffee? Cash didn't make you go grocery shopping, did he? No, I made out with the bartender at the club last night, so he'd give it to me. <laughs> well, good luck making coffee without filters. Give me those filters. Give me some coffee. No. Oh, okay. Mmm, these will be soft on my touch. What, do you see my foot? Dude, my head is killing me. I think I drank too much. Really? Is that why you were letting guys do body shots off you? Up yet? Oh, I haven't seen him since Cash stepped on his face last night. <laughs> he may be half white, but he doesn't exactly glow in the dark. Well, he must be around here somewhere since he could barely keep his eyes open last night. Well, I know he didn't sleep on the couch or he would have slept on my sister. Hey, wait a minute. Where is my sister? How funny would it be if they were off somewhere together? <laughs> Okay, so maybe it wouldn't be that funny. Arnez, where have you been? Look, forget about Arnez. Michelle, where the hell did you go with Arnez? <laughs> no, forget about them. What's in the bag? It's just our leftovers from the Over Easy Bistro. Mm. Neither one of us could sleep, so we grabbed a bite to eat. Do I smell bacon? No, I think what you smell is... <laughs> Easy bistro, huh? That's nice, Arnaz. So what's in the bucket? Seashells we got by the seashore. She wants to sell them. So, wait, wait, wait. Let me get this right. You were too tired to go out with me last night, but you had enough energy to get up at dawn, take her to breakfast, and play on the beach? I hope you have fun, Arnaz. Maybe I should go talk to her. No, I'll talk to her. You have way too much hair for her to snatch. I know Arnez is broke, okay? So why are you buying him breakfast? Well, actually, you bought him breakfast. I took a 20 from your wallet. You can't be going through my wallet. What you gonna do about it? Nothing yet. But you know what? You lucky, because I got to talk to you right now, outside. Come on. <laughs> Nothing happened between Michelle and I. And nothing ever would. Something already did. You find time for her and you leave me hanging. Why can't you make an effort to do things with me like I have to do with you? So when you go out with me, it's only because you feel like you have to. Do you really think I enjoy all those rock concerts? Rock on, dude. What? Are you kidding me? Can you honestly tell me that Berman concert last weekend didn't totally change your life? Oh, yeah, it did. It made me have to go out and buy earplugs. 
Look, I go to those concerts for you, Arnez. And I go to those so-called plays for you. You think I want to be there? They're so boring, they shouldn't even be called plays. They should be called... Borings. <laughs> oh, so I suppose someone screeching at the top of their lungs is exciting? Well, I guess if they were complaining at the top of their lungs, you'd have a good time. You could join in. It'd be like a sing-along for you. Fine. You know what? You don't have to go to any more of my borings, and I won't have to suffer through any more of your bands that make me want to shank my ears. But what about the concert tickets for Killer Confections tonight? Can't you shank your ears one more time? Oh, no, 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 honey. You going all by yourself. Michelle, why are you really here? And I'm not buying the whole missing the family thing. You flunking out of school, aren't you? What? That is crazy talk. <laughs> all right, yes. I mean, D, how do I tell mom and dad that after six years of college, I'm failing? I don't know. But I sure hope I'm there when you do. <laughs> well, actually, I was kind of hoping that you would tell them. I mean, you're their favorite. I'm the school. It's going to be hard enough telling them I'm flunking out of college, let alone asking for money to go to art school in Paris. Art school in Paris? Oh, you definitely out of the will. <laughs> I'm serious, Daryl. Look, after talking to Arnez, I realize that I need to pursue my dream. Did I mention that Arnez is dumb as a stump? <laughs> But he's right. Seeing him happy doing what he wants to do has inspired me. I'm not gonna live my life without passion. No, you're gonna live your life without money. <laughs> I'm asking for your help. Please, little bruh. All right. If it means that much to you, we'll go tomorrow. Yes. Mom will have the chef make my favorite lunch, and we'll talk about what a disappointment you are. <laughs> It'd be like lifestyles of the rich and ghetto. <laughs> Doing? I'm tired of not having any paper towels. Why can't somebody just go shopping? Because men are useless and selfish, and getting them to do anything you want is like pulling teeth unless it involves you getting naked. Ooh, here come the guys. Listen, we're gonna stand our ground and not go shopping. Yes, we have to be a united front. We have to show them that we cannot be manipulated by any man. Yes, girl. Uh, that's what I'm Hey, girls, you guys want to go to a party with us in Tijuana? Oh, sure. I've never been to Mexico. <laughs> Way to be united. If you were at the March on Selma, you'd still be sitting in the back of the bus. Ew, I can drive to Tijuana. Oh, cool. We'll meet you there. Hey, I'll tell you what. I'll drive everybody. If Cash agrees to go grocery shopping when we get back. Fine. Oh, okay, so are we going? What about Michelle and Arnaz? Well, Michelle's at a friend's. And Arnaz is going to a concert, so let's go. Whoa, don't you want to at least call him at work and tell him? I do not feel like talking to him right now. I'll just leave Mr. Selfish a note. Who's going to read it to him? <laughs> Hi, Arnaz. Hey, Michelle. What's going on? Well, um, because of you, I'm going to talk to my parents about pursuing my dream of going to art school in Paris. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's a good thing. I mean, it's something I've always wanted to do, but just too afraid to try. So let's go out and celebrate. Me, you, D Mac, Brianna, Cash, Sarah. What about Lisa? Who? <laughs> Never mind. Actually, I don't know where everybody is. All I know is that Brianna didn't want to go with me to this concert tonight. Why not? We haven't been seeing eye to eye lately. Yeah. I mean, don't worry about it, Arnez. I'm sure you guys will work it out. You know, if it's meant to be, it'll be. So, uh, what concert are you going to? Killer Confections? Killer Confections. Oh, my God. Deep Fried Twinkies is like one of my favorite songs. <laughs> then what are we waiting for? Let's go. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Right. But you know what? We should leave a note, because old girl was tripping. <laughs> well, here. Right on the back of this. Two concerts. 
Next time on One on One. No, I can't believe they actually went up to Mexico without me. <laughs> uh oh. Michelle, if you wanna, you can have them. Tonight, we're in the Orioles' locker room as we count down the illustrious career of Cal Ripken Jr., the man, the legend, the icon. But believe it or not, Cal puts his pants on one leg at a time. And right here is where those very pants hang. Cal! Cal! <laughs> Cal, Cal, Cal! Dwayne, what are you doing in there, man? Trying to get Cal to sign my old bat for a jersey. When did you become such a big Cal Ripken fan? Man, he has everything to do with who I am today. <laughs> Flex, I wasn't a smart kid. I wasn't a well-dressed kid. Wasn't a handsome kid. Hey, hey, this list can go on forever. What's your point? The point is, Cal represents me, the average Joe, the working man. Cal's not afraid to go out there and get mud under his nails. Oh, see? Like me? <laughs> you know, Dwayne, I feel for you. And as a fellow celebrity, I feel for Cal, too. I've been mobbed. I've been hounded. And in the end, those of us in the public eye just want to be left alone. <laughs> you cut one ribbon at the opening of One Orange Julius. Celebrity? <laughs> I think not. <laughs> Look, man, it's taken a lot of time for me to cultivate my relationships with the players. I finally got them feeling like I'm part of the team. <laughs> good to be with someone who's nice and sweet. You got me! Okay, and what a joy you are. But could you at least just try, please? I want the women in my life to get along. Okay, I'm sorry. It's not even really about you. I just miss my best friend back in Atlanta. Oh, is our widow Brianna homesick? <laughs> okay, maybe it is her a little bit. <laughs> but I just miss my best friend, Tracy. Tracy? Yeah, my partner back in Atlanta. Tracy and I were tight. We did everything together. We were like Benny and Jerry's. All right. And Fruity Pebbles and Milk. <laughs> yeah. Dolce and Gabbana. <laughs> <laughs> Trying. Oh, baby, and what a beautiful try it was. Mwah. You know what? I got an idea. How about your father flies Tracy out for the weekend? Good looking out, team on it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Will seeing your friend make you happy? Yes, yes, it would. Really happy? Yeah. All right, then. Well, let's get Tracy up in here, up <laughs> in here. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> He's the best. What about me? You all right? Don't be so needy. <laughs> oh, dang, I spilled popsicle juice on my top. Come on, girl, let's change it. Why can't I hang 
out in Brianna's bedroom? For the same reason your father won't let me hang out in your mama's bedroom. <laughs> Oh, it's just you. Hey, I'm your goddaddy. Better be nice. Anything happens to your daddy, you end up with me. Well, Tracy be here any minute. I got popsicle on my shirt, so I'll be back. Tracy, 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 you know what? I hope this girl lives up to all his hype. You know what? I think we've forgotten who we are. So me, Dwayne Odell Knox, am gonna ask my best friend, Flex, one last time. You gonna help me? Let me think about it. Nope. Come on, man, I'm starting to get desperate, dog. I was hanging around the dugout, picking up trash, you know? Mm -hmm. When I saw Cal, I started to make my move. When that damn Oriole mascot came over and stuck my head in his beak. <laughs> What's the problem? Your head's been in worse places. Boop! Tracy's here! Tracy's here! Tracy's here! Tracy's here! Oh, my God. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> my little dog! My big dog, Tracy! <laughs> Tracy! Huh. Her friend is very mannish. <laughs> You're not a 14-year-old girl. Oh, no, sir, I'm 16. You want to check my driver's license? <laughs> On your way out. Well, wait, wait, Daddy. Tracy's my partner, my dog, my confidant. I don't care if he's your butcher, your baker, your candlestick maker. <laughs> he is not spending the night up in this house. I didn't tell you Tracy was a boy because I knew you'd say no. Sir, I can understand you being protective over Brianna, but... I've always had her back, too. I mean, that's been my job since she was five years old. Yeah, my mom and his mom were best friends. They used to bathe us together. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, well, i tell you one thing. Ain't gonna be no rubber dub dubbing up in this house. <laughs> mm-hmm. In other words, splish splash your ass somewhere else. <laughs> Brianna, you lied to me. Daddy, I'm sorry, but Tracy's trustworthy, loyal, and he looks out for me. He's like my best friend. I don't know about this. But, Daddy, he's already here. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Ah. I'm gonna call your mother and do a little background check. Until then, I'm watching your butt, player. <laughs> Me too. I'm worried about Brianna and this Tracy boy. In one weekend, I can go from being Big Daddy Flex to Grand Daddy Flex. You know, that's a cool rap name. <laughs> Granddaddy Flex, his daughter's having sex. Sweetie, if you had a problem with him being here, why'd you let him stay? Because I didn't want to be one of those fathers who every time he sees his daughter with a boy wonders what's going on. I wonder what's going on. Nothing, Flex. They're just friends. Mm-hmm, friends, right. See, that's your problem. You don't think men and women can be friends. Oh, that's not true. I know men and women can't be friends. <laughs> Lots of male friends. I've even slept in the same bed with a few, and nothing has ever happened. Who did nothing ever happen with? My friend, little Bruce. Little gay Bruce? He's not gay. I just told you that because that's what you needed to hear. Dang, he kisses one guy and you label him. Tanya, Tanya, t baby, please wake up and smell the coffee. Little Bruce is gay. Men only pretend to be friends so that somewhere down the line we can have sex with him. I mean, why else would we put up with the long walks in the park mm -hmm. and the romantic dinners and the conversations? So we can have sex with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so is that what you're doing with me? Of course not. We're not friends. Then just what are we? We're buddies who like to touch each other. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? Uh, right. So, if your theory holds up, what do you think Tracy and Brianna are doing right now? Uh oh. Oh! Stop. Moments don't get more awkward than this. Did you two please leave? We leave when we daggone ready to leave. <laughs> and we ready to leave. <laughs> Arnaz, you want next? I don't play games. I play guitars, my brother. <laughs> hey, Tracy. Just look at how your fingers work that controller. They're so strong and long. <laughs> yeah, I've got long toes, too. You want to see? Ooh. Uh, spirit. Kitchen. 
<laughs> now. <laughs> now, girl, who are you supposed to be with the... And the heel fingers are so strong and long. Come on, girl, you don't mind the sister trying to hook herself up with a little southern comfort? <laughs> Not this weekend. I haven't seen my dog in how long? I just want us to hang. By us? You mean the two of y'all? Oh, my bad. Maybe you have peeped him. Yeah, girl, nobody's peeping nobody. So you haven't noticed that dimple on his left cheek? Girl, it's on his right, and it only happens when he smiles and he gets that little twinkle in his eye. Girl, we just friends, okay? <laughs> well, have you taken a look at your friend lately? Oh, shut up, boy's fine. <laughs> well, he is kind of cute, isn't he? So what are you going to do about it? Hey. <laughs> I got your paid sexy flex. Sleep, hot mama. I paged you. In the middle of the night? What is so important? I need you to teach me how to trap a man. <laughs> you want me to teach you to trap a man? Yeah, like you're trapping my daddy. I'm not <laughs> trapping your daddy. I'm trapping a sportscaster with a six-figure income. <laughs> Anyway, why are you asking me? Because you got the knowledge of a mature woman who's obviously been around the block. <laughs> okay, I'm a little offended, but I'll get past that. Now, I assume we're talking about that cute little boy, Tracy? Yeah, I guess I've got what your generation calls a love, Jones. Mm -hmm. But one minute, he's my best friend, and now I think he's the one. I've never had this feeling before. Oh, sweetie, I don't know if your dad would like me doing this. What time you look? This gives you and I a chance to bond. Woman to girl. Daddy will really like that. Well, okay. The first thing we need to do is let Tracy know you're a girl. Excuse me? Honey, you're like a blow pop. Nobody knows the sweet gum is in the middle until you break through the hard, rough shell. <laughs> you trying to help me, right? All I'm saying is maybe it's time to dress a little less hip hop and a little bit more sultry soul. And the place to start is the foundation, the shoes. <laughs> Notice how the proper footwear can turn a gorgeous pair of legs into killer gams. Check it on out, girl. OK, shoes. What else? It's very important to always carry yourself as a lady. Now sit down. No! No, 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 no. A lady never plops. A lady glides and glides and glides. <laughs> okay, a lady glides. I, I, I could do that. Okay, let's see. <laughs> I, I'm gonna get that. Okay. okay. Shoes. Be ladylike. What else? And when being a lady fails, always be a woman. How? Honey, no matter what they say or how much they struggle, men like it when you grab them by the back and neck and just lay it on them. <laughs> but no tongue, you're too young for that. All right, Wayne, I'm going to get to my journalistic integrity to do this for you. But I'm going to get Cal Ripken to come out here and sign your jersey for you. <laughs> Flex, man, I really appreciate this. I owe you big time. If you had anything to give me, that might mean something. <laughs> All right, stay right here. I'll be right back. Hey, hey, come on, look, no time for that. Please, go away. <whistles> Click off. <laughs> Stop. Come on, no means no. Respect. <laughs> hey, hey, look, hey, that's for Cal to sign. Get away. <whistles> oh, it's about to be bye-bye, Birdie. I'm here. <laughs> concentrate on this game. Why? Oh, my killer. Gam, distracting you. No, I just keep thinking you're gonna bust your butt in those high-rise sneaks. Well, I thought I'd try something different. You know, team in advantage. 
switch on and off the court. Right. Wait. Did you hurt your back? Um, yeah, I am a little tight. Can you hook a girl up with a massage? <laughs> oh, wait. You can't be so rough with me. I am a girl. Sorry, I forgot. That's because you only see my hard, rough shell. You don't know nothing about the sweet gum inside. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let me show you. There's nothing like a fresh squeezed glass of love! I'll tell you what I think. Your lips against my daughter's lips means a fat lip for you. Well, well, wait a minute, Daddy. It's not his fault. Let me explain. Brianna, you're not going to send me to my room. You... Okay, so I'm, I'm going my own. So tell me something, Tracy. If you were me, would you aim high? Would you aim low? If, if you, if, if you want to beat me up, fine. But since I plan on having kids one day, I'd aim high. Boy, you better sit down. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I know what happened. I was you once. Playing innocent when you know you're guilty. See, I'm the master of that game. Next thing you're gonna tell me is she was kissing you. But she did. I swear. One minute we were playing ball, and the next she put it on me. I mean, really put it on me. Like, how? Okay, before you go on, I haven't made up my mind whether I'm gonna aim high or low. <laughs> how am I gonna tell her I'm not feeling her like that? I don't wanna hurt her. <sighs> Look, if you're telling me the truth, and you have to tell her. What am I supposed to say? You just gotta look her in the eye, be sensitive about her feelings, and speak from the heart. Okay, I'm gonna go and tell her the truth. Yeah, and break her heart? I don't think I can do this. Can't I just go back to Atlanta and pretend this never happened? Man, you really do remind me of me. <laughs> Baby, we need to talk. Father. What you saw wasn't just two people kissing, but me taking my rightful place in the circle of life. <laughs> Daddy, my feelings for Tracy are real. Baby, sit down. I got some bad news. <laughs> you didn't throw Tracy off the roof, did you? I was tempted, really tempted, but I didn't want to live in a room with bars and a cellmate named Peaches. <laughs> Baby, sometimes we have feelings for someone, and, and they might not feel the same way about us. What are you saying? I don't know how to tell you this. Then just say it. Tracy only likes you as a friend. <laughs> You'll do anything to keep us apart, wouldn't you? He didn't know how to tell you, so I told him that I would. Baby, there are going to be a lot of Tracys. I don't want there to be, but there will be. <laughs> and, and, and you know why? Because you're a beautiful girl with a beautiful heart. And, and someday, you're going to find someone who will appreciate that. But there'll be no one like Tracy. I kissed him, Daddy. Oh, baby, I, that was your first kiss. I, I didn't know. I'm sorry, sweetie. I can't believe I wasted my first kiss on him. If it helps, he said it was good. How good? <laughs> Real good. Scale the one to ten. You are making me uncomfortable. <laughs> Hi. Are you mad at me? How could I be mad at you? So we're still friends, right? Of course. We'll keep in touch. Look, Brianna, I didn't mean... Hey, hey. It was nothing. Just forget about it. I already have. Bye, Tracy. Bye, Brianna. He don't know what he missing. <laughs> you okay, baby? Yeah, I'm okay. Just one boy, right? Oh, Daddy. Oh, 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 oh.
Mr. Ripken, can I have your autograph? No. You want my soda? You can have it. Really? You can have it. Somebody's about to get plugged tonight! <laughs> 